And some new federal rules just announced today could mean less turbulence for travelers in the near future. The government today cracking down on airlines in an effort to protect passengers. Our Rob Olson joins us live from MSP tonight to explain this to us. Rob? Yeah, the U.S. Department of Transportation says uh, during the pandemic and in the years since, a lot of complaints from travelers about taking too long to get refunds, that they come in vouchers that expire and people can't use, that there's too many hidden fees, that these low-cost fares are really a lot higher than they're advertised to be. And that's what it aims to do in trying to make travel a lot less stressful than it need be. Getting on a plane is often about something fun. It's your birthday. Traveling it's my on your birthday. birthday. Yes, Vegas we go. With the travel arrangements with the airlines. Why hide it and why click multiple pages until you realize what the true cost is? That can feel like a runaround. Escalated prices, hidden fees, uh, additional baggage fees, last minute fees. The new airline rules announced by the federal government requires automatic cash refunds if your flight is canceled or delayed more than three hours domestically or six hours internationally. The refund must be within seven days if you used a credit card, and they can no longer give you vouchers or credit unless you request it that way. The credit it gets you. You know, that's where they want you to come back. But it's like, if I'm unhappy and I want a refund, can I just get my cash back and keep moving forward? <laughs> If you paid a baggage fee and that arrives late, that is also an automatic cash refund. We're also putting another rule on the books, protecting airline passengers from being surprised by fees. Airlines are now also required to be upfront with their pricing, so any extra fees are not hidden or a surprise. Knowing the real price of a trip before and not after you buy often happens with discount airlines, fares that can be misleading and take the fun out of your vacation quickly. Not so much with Delta, however, other airlines, many, many issues. Talk to a travel expert today from thriftytraveler.com who says he doesn't expect this will raise airfares and some that may appear raised because if they add some of these other fees in, uh, but otherwise he believes airlines still are very competitive and, and the fares shouldn't be affected by this. These rules don't go into effect immediately. Airlines have six months for the uh, required refunds. They have up to a year for the other changes and that's because they have a lot of systems that need to be rewritten. Live at MSP International, Rob Olson, Fox 9. All right, Robbie, thank you. Well,